Tonight, the wedding. Imran Khan and Jemima Goldsmith tie the knot. We have the only television interview. But that's where any resemblance to a normal wedding ended. Imran Khan and Jemima Goldsmith exchanged their vows at Richmond Register office with the eyes of the world's media upon them. Now, in their only television interview, the former cricketer and the society heiress talk about his playboy past and her role as a Muslim wife. Christopher Peacock reports on today's events and that interview. Arrived ten minutes late with her father, Sir James Goldsmith, and his wife, Lady Annabel. She's the catch the Pakistani cricketer was not prepared to drop after he'd been seen about town with scores of beautiful women. Jemima wore a long-skirted cream suit designed by Bruce Oldfield with a large-brimmed hat, enough of a cover-up to satisfy Muslim traditionalists. Imran Khan admits he's prepared for this marriage as if it's a cricket match. He says he has no guarantee it will work, but he's prepared to give it his best shot. You suddenly come across in life someone who is heading the same direction as you. And that's the best way I can describe that, who, who you feel has the same vision as you, values, you know, who views life in the same way, and you have mental compatibility. Above all, it's the mind that, uh, uh, it's the meeting of the mind that is the most important. I think they, you know, initially have all the sort of same concerns that all parents have, which is, you know, you're very young, do you know what you're doing? And also, you know, they haven't really, Actually, hadn't really I, met him, really, so it's difficult for them, but... I didn't think that they thought you were young. I actually thought they had faith in you. I thought that they realized, they trusted your judgment. Yeah, I mean, I, mean I, w I thought they would have opposed it. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, I was very surprised by their reaction. I thought there would be a, a much more negative response. But, but actually, they, well, luckily now, they, you know, they both met them, and obviously, and they get on very well, and they're very pro the whole thing. Many are skeptical about the marriage working. What does Imran think? You know, in cricket, it's like entering a match and thinking about losing. <laughs> you cannot win. Mm, I mean, you I mean, enter a match and you do not think about losing, you think about winning. Mm. And so, I mean, how awful to enter a marriage and think about a divorce. But does he regret his playboy image? I, I wish I was born an angel and I would never have committed a sin in my life, but I wasn't. I, I was born in a society where I was influenced by various heroes, mm -hmm. pop stars, you know, when I was growing up. I had a, a westernized education which removed me from Islam. And how does Jemima face the future as a Muslim wife living in Pakistan? I know it's a, a big challenge, really, to, to try and adapt to that kind of culture. But I don't really have any kind of huge, um, huge fears, because I, I've been there three times for a start, so I, I know what, to some extent, what I'm... ...are getting married. They return to Ormley Lodge tonight, where a wedding supper awaits, attended by royalty. The photographs to be taken by Hallo magazine for a fee of £100,000, payable to the hospital Imran Khan is building in Pakistan in memory of his mother. One photograph they won't get, the bride and groom toasting each other in champagne. That's forbidden by Muslim law. Jemima's new life starts here. In Richmond, this is Christopher Peacock for London Tonight. Jemima and Imran seem miles apart. Liz Wickham examines the relationship of the new Mr. and Mrs. Khan. Since their romance became public, speculation was rife about their suitability and whether the half-Jewish party girl could bow under the yoke of a Muslim wife. Mona Balans, Islamic herself, was first to cast doubt on the match, but since meeting the couple has changed her mind. Sunrise Radio. But away from the rarefied atmosphere of international society, on local radio in Southall, the wedding merited only a mention on the news. Former Pakistani cricketer Imran Khan and heiress Jemima Goldsmith. And out on the streets, opinions varied. I'm not really bothered about it. Well, it's important to him not to ask. Good luck to them both. There's nothing wrong with marrying him. I don't think he's having any double standards. I wish them best of luck. All there is. But if the two communities were looking for a cultural melting pot, they couldn't have created a more beautiful one than today's happy couple. This is Liz Wickham for London Tonight.